Hi everyone, welcome back. It is our last weekend in New York. We're just about to head out. Tommy's with me. It's Sunday and we leave tomorrow evening around five o'clock. So we kind of have just one last day now. So we're gonna do some last minute shopping. I need to go get my nails done. One came off, so I have to get fixed ASAP. And just like stroll around really and kind of like take in the last bit of Christmasiness before we go. So I'll bring you with us for the day and see what we get up to. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree. Okay, just in Soho. Tommy went off to pick up my present somewhere, so we have to see what that is, even though I don't really see anything, so I'm kinda... It's a ring. <laughs> Not a ring, oh my god. Um, anyway, we are just in Soho. I'm gonna run into Fendi. There's just a bag I wanna have a look at, and I actually went to some like um, consignment designer shops there, the real, real, and what goes around comes around, and actually, if any of you like my Chanel watch, there was the exact same one in what goes around comes around here in Soho, which is FYI. Let's go across the street. These boots were not made for cobblestones. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go into Fendi, have a look at that, and then let's see, we'll just keep wandering around for a bit. Outside snow's glistening. Okay, guys. We got what I was looking for in Fendi, and I'm like, I wasn't gonna say it in the vlog because I was thinking that Kayla might see it, but it's for Kaylin. Um, there was this bag that she has been talking about, so I got it for her kind of as like an end of year um, present, obviously, like for working together. I have another present for her, just like normally, um, you know, like our sister present, but this is more like the end of year kind of work one. So yeah, I can't wait to see if she likes it. I think I might just give it to her today. I think we're gonna meet them soon because um, we're gonna go to the Upper East Side. So if we do, I'll just give it to her straight away. Oh, can't wait to see her reaction. Okay, I'm just on my phone, but next stop, the Upper East Side. I got my nails done in this one. It's called You and Me Nail. It's really random, but Kayla's actually in there now as well. I just forgot to vlog when we're in there. But I got my usual powder. And now I'm gonna go meet Tommy and we're gonna go for like a stroll around the Upper East Side and I'll get my camera back out to show you that. I totally forgot to film our food, but we're in JG Melons, our favorite spot, Tommy. Do you more? It's our last family dinner. Oh, they, they oh my god, actually, are like children. Children! The last That's family so nice dinner in New York before we leave. The next one will be in Kerry. She's getting here so good. How was it, Tommy? I'm surprised you didn't get chocolate cake. Yeah, why not? Her Tommy is depressed. I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna give one... The gym opened up near our uh, near apartment. Did it? Yeah, we're eating after this. We're breaking this. We're breaking really? They, they put face gym in there. Oh my god, all our old spots oh, up I here. This is the street I used to live in. This is 74th Street. <laughs> um, this is my dentist right here. Oh. I do miss it. <laughs> We're being conscious. I know, I know, but I get so nostalgic when oh, I come I back up. Like, I really love our new building, I have to say. Like, I much prefer my apartment and the building and stuff. But I miss the area up here. It's, it was such a nice neighborhood. I'm definitely going to move back here in the future. But anyway, we're going to walk again yeah, next year. No, not next year. Maybe like three or four years. What are you doing? Um, They're so crazy tonight. Like, um, we're gonna walk over towards Madison Avenue and Park to see the decorations at Ralph Lauren and just any kind of houses we pass on the way because I haven't really had a chance to come up and see the decorations and they always do it very well. Tommy's gonna come up one more drink tonight. No. This is last night in New York City. No more drinking or to be hung over on our flight tomorrow. No. Anyway, I'll show you the decorations now when we when we see them. Yeah, it is. Wonders of life got the prettiest side 
for everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas We're back home and we're visiting Kel and David's apartment and their perfect tree as usual Kel is really like, well you know from Vlogmas and other years Very particular about her tree, let me show you Like Kel, how do you get them? Like, how do you get it like this? Like? That was that perfect Literally, there's like the exact amount of space between like each thing. I know it's a couple of mistakes earlier. It's, it's really a nice tree. Yeah. It is nice. So next time I want to spray Oh, and you got the presents. So, so nice. And this little area is lovely too. Well, I actually didn't finish that anyway. It's too late now. Very nice. Um, I got this lovely one. Show? Sure. That is nice, yeah. yeah. What else you got there? This one? Um, no, that's from a different store. I got this one. This one's cute too. And the ball thing, my mirror. We literally look like twins. Look at our outfits. Oh, I wasn't expecting to be filmed. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so Ken's gonna open her present here. We're gonna see her reaction and see if she likes it or not. I am nervous. I have a funny feeling I know what it is. What I is that? What do you I think it is? I had to think about it for a while. What do you think it is? I didn't know what it was. Don't spoil it. If you what do you think I'm it is? I'm not gonna say, guys. Come on, see. Let me do it. I'm just gonna bet it to you if you don't get she it right. You should tell her what it was, honey. No. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. What was it? The box is too small. What do you think it was? What do you think it was? Wait, let me just make sure we're in it. It's boots. It could be boots. One second, one second. Are we all in it? So I don't have to walk. Wait, can you see if I'm in it too? Yeah, we're all in it too. Where's the gun? What the hell is this? I'm actually nervous. Did you actually think it was boots? Well, I, I was thinking boots. the only thing I, I said recently that were nice were the boots you have. Tell us why you thought it was boots. Because the box, the bag is too expensive and the box is too expensive. I heard David told you. Too. No. I think so. I asked him, was it boots? Here, well, give us your reasoning why you told it was boots. Because. Oh, why are you getting at? So she told us that she has a reasoning there. Because and it was too small for earrings. Or too big for earrings. And why, why, why did you rule out the rest of the stuff? Okay, what is this? What is this? It's not the bag that I showed you on Instagram yesterday. It is. Oh my god. Why are you blushing? Oh. <laughs> No, I don't have like the strap. strap. Yeah. Erica, this is too expensive. I looked this up and I know how much it costs. Well, the strap is separate, but you can take oh, this part off. My, this comes off. This is so for your phone. You can have your phone in it too, but it also like slips off. So you can just no, I off. can't accept this. This is too I'll take expensive. It. I'll take it. I you tell me your chair. I know. <laughs> no, but you have to put it on. It's so nice on. I tried it on this morning. Does it come so in nice. different sizes? This is yes. the mini. She has the mini. The bigger one was like much bigger. But is this the one that's really expensive? No, that's the big, the bigger one's more expensive. But I looked it up, and one of them was very expensive. But maybe that was the bigger one. Yeah. Are you bring it back, mini. or you gonna hold it? Oh my god, I don't, the, I don't know. Put on the strap. Ew. Put on the strap because it's really cool with the strap How on. Try it on. Like, what made you get this? Like, because I was trying to. You've been the best employee all year. I was gonna, just, I was gonna give you money one. like for end of year, but then I was like, the bag would be cooler to have for the future and like a memory. You know? Come off down that low. It's kind of short, like, but cool it's really cool. Oh, just give me my phone away. It's cool, isn't it? I don't even like. No, they really know. They tank you sometimes. Nice. Do you like it? It's so cool. Well, you can't really see it now with the black, like, and then, oh, there's also a chain in there as well, a regular chain. So you get the chain and this. Yeah. yeah. So you can wear it like longer How as well. Yeah. And the chains in there too. So there's like a regular chain as oh well. Oh my god. So I have two bags. Yeah. That's your present in this. And then you can put this strap on your bags. other bags as well. Oh my god. How is the life when it's spindly packing? <laughs> Jesus, phone going into work in the mornings. 
Oh, does, Tommy, Tommy. does Tommy get to keep that bird? Oh. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, Tommy. Oh, look. Where did you get this at work? <laughs> Imagine if you went to work with that. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, is this the exact one that was in her phone? Yeah, yeah. I showed My the girl. My God. Let me see her photo again. I don't know what to do with myself right now. This is morning it is the day we're going well i was gonna say we're going home but we're actually not going straight home but it's the day we're leaving for christmas so i'm just getting myself organized i just washed my hair um kind of half dried it it will dry now the rest of the way while i'm finishing my packing and i'm just going to do my skincare and i want to do like you know i want to really put in some effort because obviously before flying flying like messes it up and i have two flights over the next couple of days so yeah i want to just make sure i put some effort in so i'll show you what i'm putting on this morning and yeah i'm so excited now okay so i already did my usual cleansing routine so my skin is like fully clean and i actually was even more like particular about it especially today just to prep it um and also i definitely feel a little bit puffy we've been eating out and drinking out so much over the last week so i'm kind of like <laughs> I just feel like my whole face is a little bit puffy but hopefully this will help now and by the time I get to carry I'll be able to kind of depuff but anyway so a few things I'm going to put on so as I said I've already cleansed and next I'm going to do this mist and if you follow me for a while I love mist and I will say I did think that they were a little bit of a fad until I actually started using them I was just thinking to myself like this how could this really do anything and then I started using them and now I like definitely couldn't not use it in my routine. So this is the Emma Hardy one and I've just started using this recently and I really like it. It's called their Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist and it's just a really nice one. Like it smells good, um, it's very light on and like the thing about a mist if you don't know, like this is what it says in the thing, but first of all it's anti-pollution. So if you live in a city or just somewhere where like, you know, you're walking around a lot outside and you know people are around you and there's pollution and whatever like this actually protects from that pollution which is a huge plus also boosts hydration and um, plumps up dehydrated skin and fine lines which i definitely <laughs> feel at the moment um protects the skin against pollution as i said evens out complexion and provides a soft focus and luminous glow so there's so many benefits and i'm going to bring this on the plane with me today because even when I'm on the plane, like even after you have all your skincare done, throughout the trip, I can just like spray this on and like give my skin that extra hydration on the plane because that is when your skin goes so dehydrated and so dry. So it's really easy. This is the bottle that comes in and then all you do is make sure you close your eyes and just keep it like about this distance away from your face. Like don't put it too close and just spray. Oh my god, it literally feels so nice on my skin straight away. Um, and there's a really nice kind of like scent off it as well. Like nothing too overpowering, but it smells like you're at the spa or like you're about to get a massage or something like that. But it always reminds me of. So that's the first step I'm going to do. And I'm going to bring that on the plane with me. It's 90 ml, so I can bring it on with me. And I'll be putting that on like twice or three times throughout the flight. Then next, I'm going to do my serum. This is also an Emma Hardy one that I've been using. I use a mix of serums, like not just one brand. And I definitely kind of, you know, give my skin what it needs at the time. So if my skin's really dehydrated, you know, I'll use a serum that obviously suits that. And I definitely like switch them up a bit. But this is the Emma Hardy one that I love. So it's called their Midas, Midas, I think that's how you pronounce it, Touch Face Serum. And I adore this packaging. Look at this. Okay, so it comes in this like syringe style packaging and what you do is like you put your thumb up here and then it comes out like this how cool i've actually never seen that before like such a smart idea so i usually do like two pumps sometimes more and just build that into my face like not pressing not like pulling or rubbing your skin too much you want to more like press it in rather than like rub it too hard because that's gonna kind of defeat the purpose and like pull your skin so just pat it all over. Don't go too close to the eyes. I always do like a separate eye cream 
and then make sure to get all the different areas and again it smells so good and like all the products has such great benefits and straight away you can kind of feel that like plumpness so that's the serum so i'm just gonna do my usual lip mask and leave that set now um while i'm finishing my packing i'm gonna do a little bit of eye cream and then i think i'm gonna I just straighten my hair, I'm, I'll curl it, I can't really decide, maybe straighten it because it might last a bit longer. I got a cut um, on Friday so there's a nice like shape to the front now which I really like so it should be easier to hopefully do over the next few weeks and yeah that is me so definitely feeling better already. I'll link everything down below if you have any questions let me know as well and also I love how many of you are telling me that you love the um, Emma Hardy Bam as well when I showed it to you in the last video and loads of you went off as well and said that you got it so I'm really excited to see what you think so definitely let me know in the comments and if you try any of these as well let me know too okay and as you can see the backing still hasn't been going very well if you last if you watched my last video there's not much of a change but we are getting there I have one case packed that's Tommy's case is going to bring so we have to put all his stuff in there and then I actually won't take that long I'm not going to bring like a crazy amount with me because I have some stuff at home as well and I have my like makeup and skincare and all that stuff like pretty much ready to go my jewelry and like toothbrush and all that stuff too so yeah we'll get there okay a few hours later Tommy is home and I think we're pretty much ready to go um so I have two suitcases packed and they're pretty much full to the brim i'm not gonna lie so fingers crossed they're not overweight and then tommy has a case and then i actually wasn't going to bring a hand luggage but i decided to bring one in the end just because i'm going to leave one of the bigger suitcases at home because it's just kind of stuff i want to leave at home and then if mom comes to visit next year she can bring it back out but i'll need the hand luggage coming back for like chocolate and you know all the usual irish food stuff so yeah i decided to bring it in the end so hopefully everything will be okay and they're not overweight like these two cases are kind of heavy but we'll see so yeah we're as ready as we will be at this stage and i need to tell you where we're actually going okay so we leave tonight at half 10 it's about five o'clock now and we are flying to london tommy and i and um, tommy has to go there for something so we figured we would like make the trip on the way home and so my friends live there and tommy's brother lives there as well so we figured why not and we actually haven't been to london together in years and years and i've never really seen it at christmas or i haven't seen any like anything really this time of the year there so yeah we figured it'd be a nice little trip so we're there tomorrow night which is tuesday night and then wednesday night and then we fly to kerry from london on thursday so yeah it's gonna be a fun few days um i think that's why i'm kind of like worrying a little bit more about the packing this time because i don't know i have to bring like extra outfits for london and stuff but hopefully hopefully it'll be okay and you know what i can always buy things if I need to if I forget anything so yeah that is where we're off to and I actually have one more surprise on our way there I'll fill you in when we're going to the airport you'll see what's happening it's gonna be really really cool and it's Tommy's first time doing something like this so I'll vlog that but first before we go I have to just do an hour on my computer now and just get caught up on emails and stuff because it is Monday and people are still working obviously I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what we're up to after that There's a bright star shining tonight I have never seen before It makes the snow come alive with the light Like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor And I'm thinking of you and how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try So won't you come up with me tonight On a Christmas stroll Through a wintry town It's a lovely sight When the city's in this gown So come on and take a Christmas stroll Sorry. 
big one, not big two crazy. The quickest we'll ever get to an airport. <laughs> six minutes it took, literally from when we left. Here yeah. Wow, so now we're in another Uber from the where we landed and that's gonna bring us over to the terminal. And then obviously an Uber picked us up at our apartment. So I think in total it took 26 minutes. 26 minutes. Wow, such a treat. Oh my God, so I work with Uber quite a lot during the year, like the car Uber version um, and I know the PR girl really really well and she's so lovely and she said to me if we wanted to do it when we're going home for Christmas because obviously like it's a busy time and it would be a nice treat and we said yeah it's me. Are you going to uh, Terminal 1? Yeah Terminal 1. So I we obviously said yes. So yeah a once in a lifetime opportunity that we said yes to. So so cool and now we are at our terminal. Okay, we checked in the hotel tour, we look. <laughs> We're just getting to board, people are queuing. <laughs> We're not those kind of people that get up very early. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna finish this vlog here and I'm gonna try and edit this on the plane. So yeah, this will be live. I'll put this live when we get to the hotel tomorrow, tomorrow. And then the next vlog will be all our trip from London. So Tuesday and Wednesday in London. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Bye.